What is going on guys welcome back to another video of Android application development in Android Studio. In this video we are going to learn how we can play audio or video files from the cloud directly to our mobile application. So using ExoPlayer library we have this powerful library in Android. We can use that library to play the video or audio files from the cloud. We can store our video or audio files anywhere and with just the URL of the video or audio, we can play it in our application in real time. Like we stream video in YouTube or OTT platform like Netflix, Amazon Prime or the audio streaming platform like Spotify or YouTube Music. So we will learn how to do that in our application using the simple steps with the help of ExoPlayer library. So let's get started with new Android Studio project. So I have recently updated my Android Studio to Hedgehog that is the latest version as of December 2023. Let's click on new project. You can select empty views activity and click on next. Give the application name let's say actually media player test media player test. Select Kotlin minimum SDK let it be 8.0 build configuration let it be the recommended one. Click on finish. So our project is ready and you can see this is the new UI of Android Studio. We have more clean UI in this Hedgehog version. So let's start now. First thing we will run the application to check whether project is created correctly. Let's run the application. So our application is launched. You can see over here this is hello world application. So let's get back to the project. Now first thing we will add is the permission of internet. So let's go to manifest and add the permission for internet because we require internet to stream video or audio file from the internet. So usage permission, internet, we can close this now. Now let's add the library for Exo player. So let's go to Google, Exo player Android. You can go to this Android developer media 3 Exo player and click on this. So let's go down over here. You can see getting started click on hello world and here we have the dependency so let's add this dependency that is for our android x media 3 exo player let's copy everything from here go to gradle scripts build at gradle and paste over here so we have to add brackets click on sync now so it will download the libraries. Let's add view binding as well. So we can use directly binding without using find view ID. So here we will go to build features, view binding equals to true. Click on sync now. So we have added library as well as we have enabled view binding. So we can close this builder gradle now. Now let's design main activity. Go to activity main.xml, click on the split and let's remove this hello world let's make this a uh, linear layout and orientation vertical will center everything gravity will be center now here we will add some buttons let's say video one id will be button one i'll copy this and make some more buttons let's say video two button two for third button i will make audio three button three so in this way we will add three simple buttons. Let's go to main activity and add the reference. So we'll use view bindings, create the object of binding activity main binding binding equals activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator set content view will be binding dot root. Now let's add on click listener to these buttons. So what we will do binding dot button one dot set on click listener binding dot button two dot set on click listener also for third button so what we will do we will find some url that is freely available over the internet for the video and audio that we will add over here so let's go to google and search for free video url for testing you can see this github page public video url for your test you can go over here and you can see there are lots of videos I will click on this first. Let's check what this video is. So it is some animated video. We can copy the link from here. And in Android Studio, what we will do here, what we will do value URL equals to we'll paste the URL. So this is HTTP. You should use HTTPS over here for secure connection. So let's use HTTPS. Let's find another URL. Let's copy any one of these. Let's say this one.
copy link same way we will write url equals to this it will be https and for button 3 we will add audio file so let's search for audio files free audio sample url so you can see this link over here that you can go and here you can see this sample.mp3 file let's copy this one let's copy this url go to android studio paste it over here it is already https so it will work so we have added two video and one audio we'll just send this url to another page so that another page will play our video or audio so what we will do we will create a function go to player page here we'll create intent this comma will create another page for that we'll go to our package new activity empty views activity let's call it media player activity finish so we'll call this media player activity from here so media player activity class dot java so we'll put the url from here so intent dot put extra what url will put we'll put a string that we'll get from this method and the key will be url and value will be url so start activity intent and from here we will call go to player page url copy this so in this way whenever we click on button one it will send this video url we'll click on button two it will send this video url when we click on button three it will send this url to this media player activity so here we have to get that url so how to get that url first let's initialize binding activity media player binding activity media player binding dot inflate layout inflator here binding dot root now here we will get that string so how we will get we will get value url equals to intent dot get a string extra here the key will be url so in this way we will get the url with the key url from this main activity so now our work is done for main activity we will just send the url to another page that is media player activity so in this activity we have to play the media so for testing what we can do let's go to activity media player layout file split we'll change it to relative layout and we'll just add a text view wrap content wrap content id will be test text view and from here we'll just set it binding dot test text view dot text will be url so whatever the url we'll get we'll show in the text view let's run and test either it is working or not so you can see we have three buttons video one video two audio three if i click on this video one you can see we have got the video url that is first url if you go back video two we have got the second url and audio three we will get the audio file so this thing is working we have just sent the url from main activity to media player activity in media player activity we will actually play audio or video so how to do that let's go to layout first let's remove this text view now let's add a player view so we need to add player view if you search over here you can see we have player view player control view and legacy player control view let's add player view width let's give match parent height will be wrapped content and we'll center in parent will be true let's give id that will be player view so it is displayed over here let's give the background to this layout as black so it will look good when we are playing the video so that's it we have added the player view now let's go to media player activity and assign the media player to this player view here first thing we will create the object of exo player so let's create object of exo player type will be exo player now let's initialize this here initialize exo player let's say player equals to exo player dot build dot builder pass the context and just build it now we have got the player and we have the player view over here so we'll assign this player to our player view so binding dot player view dot player equals to player so we have assigned our player to this view now to play the video we have to add the url to the player so how to do that first create a media item from media item dot from uri and uri you will pass that we have got the url from intent so it will create a media item now we will set the media item to player set media item that will be media item now once media item is set we have to prepare and then we have to play 
that's it so player dot prepare and player dot play so in this way we will get the media item from url we assign the media item to our exo player and then it will prepare and then play that's it so this simple code will play our video and audio from the uri let's run and test first so let's click on video one you can see we have the exo player and it is being played the video is being played you can see over here it is loaded till here also you can skip You can pause you can reverse also you can also increase or decrease the speed from here so in this way video is being played click on back you can hear the audio video is still being played in the background because we have written the code for play but we are not stopping it so it is being played in the background so we should not do that let's close the application first and then what we will do we will overwrite some methods over here so in this media player activity we will first override on start on stop and on destroy so on start what we will do we will set that player dot play when ready we will set it to true so whenever the applic whenever this page is started then only it will be played on stop it will be false and on destroy will release the player means whenever we destroyed it will be destroyed so in this way now if we run let's play the video it is being played if i click on back now the video is stopped we are not able to hear any audio that means video is stopped if you click on video 2 it is also being played and if you click on audio the audio will be played this is the cover of the mp3 file that's why it is displayed but this is the audio file you can see so so far everything is working so one last thing what we can do if there is any error while playing the video we can do something so how we can do that we can do player dot add listener let's add the object of player dot listener here we can implement some methods if you write on play you can see on player ready changed on player error on playback parameter changed you have all the callbacks so we can use on player error here you can just put a toast toast dot make text application context error playing media length will be short show so whenever there will be error it will show the toast that error playing media in this way you can handle the error so that's all for this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye